Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure site collection for the team project collection in TFS. When you install first time TFS, you need to have one team project collection. During the installation, the team project, uh, project collection that gets created is called default collection. However, you do have a facility to create uh, other team project collection in TFS and you can create the projects underneath that. But if you wanted to take advantage of uh, integration between TFS and SharePoint, and you wanted to create a SharePoint site for your team projects where uh, you can give permission to your team members and they can uh, go on SharePoint site and look at all the documents that you have uh, uploaded, then you do need the SharePoint, uh, uh, you do need to create the project portal for your uh, projects in under uh, your site collection. And number two, um, the document library, as I talked about, that you can uh, upload various documents such as Excel, Word document, requirements, anything that you wanted to share with your team, you can uh, upload on your uh, uh, SharePoint site and that can be visible from your TFS uh, portal as well as uh, you can manage it from the SharePoint side. Also, sometimes the business users are not really tech savvy. They may not know what TFS is. However, almost uh, everywhere where SharePoint is, the business users are uh, really, um, they know how to use the SharePoint and you can um, give permission to business users so that they can look at various documents about the project, status, reports, anything that you wanted to put on that website and share it with your team members as well as your business users. In this video, what do we require prior to uh, configuring the site collection? Uh, number one, there are two ways that you can create the uh, site collection um, for the team projects in TFS. When you create a team project collection, it'll ask you that um, you wanted to configure the site collection. And that is if you have already uh, configured the integration between SharePoint and TFS. If that is not configured, then during the uh, team project collection creation, it will not ask you that you wanted to configure the site collection. But um, in my case, it's already configured, the integration between TFS and SharePoint. So uh, when I create team project collection, it asks me whether I wanted to configure. I have already created the different team project collection, but I have not configured uh, the site collection for the SharePoint. So that's what we need to do. And number two, that um, uh, since this uh, configuration will be done via uh, TFS Administration Console, you do need to have permission if your uh, SharePoint site, if you don't have permission on SharePoint site, you won't be able to do that. So for example, you can be SharePoint admin, uh, but if you don't have permission in SharePoint, when you create the site collection, it'll give you uh, an error that you don't have permission to create the site collection. So make sure that you send an email or uh, talk to your SharePoint admin and ask them that um, to give you your account, uh, whatever the account that you're using, that it should have permission to create site collection. Um, once you know everything is done, it's fairly easy to configure site collection for your team project. In my case, if I go on TFS, this is TBS TFS, Tech Brothers TFS, and uh, I have two collection, project collections right here. One is default collection, that is, um, that got created when I uh, configured, uh, when I installed TFS. And as you can see, it is already configured right here. If you click on first thing, you will see general status, um, and then team projects and then SharePoint site. If you don't have the SharePoint site configured, it'll show you that it's not configured, which we'll see in a second. So right now for this project collection, I have already configured SharePoint site. But if you click on TBS collection, this is my other um, project collection, you will see that uh, in SharePoint site, it's not configured. In order to configure that, you need to click on edit default site collection uh, location and you can provide your SharePoint URL right here, the server that where your SharePoint is installed. Time, and I'm gonna provide the relative path. Now, if re this relative path does not exist, it's gonna tell you that you can pre-populate uh, this relative path and already create, that is already created on SharePoint and you can provide this path and have uh, this user 
uh, in my case is cluster admin user so if that user have permission to access that relative path it'll say that okay the path has already existed and it'll configure it but if this relative path does not exist it's going to say that no site exists so do you want to create a new one? And if you have permission to create the, the site collection, then yes, it will configure it right away. In my case, I do have permission on uh, SharePoint site. So if I click OK, it'll create, it'll tell me that no such site exists. So do you want to create a new one? And I'm going to click on yes. All right, the configuration is completed. Now we can go on the SharePoint site uh, to see that whether this uh, TBS collection site collection is created. So in my case, if I go on my SharePoint site, this is my TBS SQL prod where my SharePoint is, and this is my SharePoint. And if I go to my site collection container, in my case, it is team TFS and click on that. This is the home page. And if I click on site, contents you'll see that tbs collection right here under subsites is created it's modified a minute ago so if you click on tbs collection it'll open up that site collection now you can upload the documents um, and the contents on this um, um, site collection and you can create your different project and portal on this collection basically this is how you create configure uh, your site collection under various project team collection in TFS uh, 2015 and I hope this video helps.